Tonight I'm going to make a little snack. Seriously sharp cheese bombs. I'm going to use some seriously sharp cheddar cheese. Some uh, flaky buttermilk biscuits. Little garlic. Little butter. And some sesame seeds with a little Parmesan cheese. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. All right, this one I'm making in the toaster oven. So I lined a toaster oven pan with some parchment. And while we're preparing all this, I'm just gonna melt like two tablespoons of butter in the microwave with a little bit of chopped up garlic, minced garlic that's already been chopped. So can you pop that in the microwave for me? First thing we're gonna do on this side is open the buttermilk biscuits. All right, I got a can of eight big biscuits. Uh, you should notice, like, whatever type of biscuits you're going to use, what the baking time is and the temperature. So I'm preheating the oven to 350. It says bake them 13 to 16 minutes. It'll probably be just about that baking time. All right. What are you making? I'm making seriously sharp cheese bombs. Mm. All right, let's open up the cheese. And we're gonna cut it up into cubes. What's this called? This is called Seriously Sharp Cheese Bombs. Cheese burgers? <laughs> Bombs. So we wanna have a you nice- tricked me, tricked me with that blue cheese steak. <laughs> I thought I was having a cheese steak. It was a cheese, blue cheese. Somebody else thought that too, probably. I know, but your leftovers are going to be like a blue cheese steak that you're thinking of. Why wasn't my first over? Because <laughs> it was a sirloin steak. <laughs> they said it was a cheese steak. <laughs> a steak with cheese. Go back and watch that video. See what it sounded like to what you. What video was that? Oh, the live one. Uh -huh. See, Rick did a video today where we talked about what he was going to have for supper. It was live, right? And it was live. But there's also a copy of the video on his channel right now. And while we were talking to some of his, um, some of his watchers, we discussed what I was making for supper, which was a blue cheese steak. But it was a sirloin hey, steak. What do you think that would be? A cheese steak <laughs> with blue cheese on top. <laughs> and he was disappointed that he didn't have a cheese steak with blue cheese. All on I it. had was a big three-pound steak. Okay. All right, now. What's so, this called again? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna separate the biscuits so they're not like as thick as a normal one would be. You know, Biscotti. something like that in half. Take a block of cheese and wrap it in the biscuit, and close up the seams real good, and then put it seam side down on the pan. This is a nice little um, snack. In fact, this is going to be Rick's movie snack tonight. With my cheese steak. <laughs> Forget about that. So if you're splitting them that easy, it must be 16 instead of 8. They're, they're flaky type. Maybe That's... they split right down the middle. <laughs> well, so. they split wherever you ask them to split. Oh, all right. Like <laughs> it's layers dough. of dough, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Now you could experiment with different kinds of cheese here. You could use uh, some horseradish cheese or pepper jack cheese in blocks, whatever kind you feel like. Can you put making. cheese steak in the middle of that? <laughs> you can put cheese steak in oh. the middle. That's this one has no meat. No meat? No meat. Okay, we're gonna rearrange them to get them all on the pan here. I think we have just enough dough separating these in half. <laughs> all right, let me just space them out a little bit so they get done faster. There we go. All right, now we have the butter that and garlic 
that were uh, that was melting in the microwave. And I'm just going to take a brush and brush over these real lightly. We're not going to douse them in butter or anything, but I want a little garlic flavor on there. And then I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds, which will top that off. Make sure we use up all that garlic. It'll be very tasty. See how easy this one is? I love those easy recipes. All right, let's do the sesame seeds. We're going to give it a little sprinkle. And then a little Parmesan. Another little sprinkle. All right, let's pop them in the oven. They should be in there about 16 minutes. We're going to use the KitchenAid toaster oven right over here. All right, I'm going to put it on the bottom shelf here. And I'm going to set the timer for 16 minutes. 16? 16 minutes. Ugh. That's preheated, huh? Yes. Let's take a look, see how they're doing in here. Oh, look at that. You see the seeds starting to toast on the tops? There's a little cheese coming out of one of them there, but they're getting nice and golden brown. A couple more minutes. Right, the timer went off. They look nice and golden brown. Look at this. Let's get them out. Whoa, look at that. Now there is some cheese cooked out a little bit. But it's hot. Let's sit it down. All right, now take a look. They're nice and crispy brown on the top. The seeds are nice and crunchy. A few have cooked out where I haven't made the seal perfectly, probably. But let's scoop a couple out onto the plate. The smell is very delicious and garlicky. There's a nice little snack. Seriously sharp cheese bombs. Let's cut one open and see how it looks inside. I'm going to cut one of these open. You could probably let them sit and get a little bit solid. You can see the steam coming out, but I want to show you the nice gooey cheese inside. Doesn't that look like a nice bite-sized snack here? Nice melted sharp cheese. And you can serve these as on a big plate and get something so delicious when you bite into it. Okay, try this really easy snack. It couldn't be more simple than uh, throwing this one together for something really tasty. Seriously sharp cheese bombs. And um, don't be afraid to alter this recipe. Put some meat in there if you like meat, a little pepperoni, different kind of cheese, some kind of seasoning. Go for, uh, make it your own. So there it is. Give it a try. Thank you for watching my video tonight. And subscribe if you like my videos. Come back and watch some more.